five, number 12. A place where Scentsy addicts unite and we love to talk about Scentsy. And in July, we have so much going on that I thought we're just gonna do a live video. So I usually do three to four of these a year. I feel like I've done three or three already. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, thanks to Shannon, my moderator, she's hopping on to help me. So guess what? Oh my gosh, we have 21 people on already. Welcome. Uh, guess what? All right, so I, I went, hi Shannon. Oh, before we start, I just have a, a favor to ask. When I do these live videos, I find it's really hard to hear. So I'm gonna put in my earbuds and they also act as a microphone and we'll do a little test and you can tell me if it's better with or without, okay? So here I am talking without <laughs> and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so now I'm talking with them. Is it better, the same, or worse? I'll wait. Look, I'll sh while we're waiting, I'll show you. No difference. Okay, I'll take them out because I can hear myself better. It sounds about the same. Okay. I can hear myself better when I <laughs> don't have the earbuds in. All right, so I went to the mall with my daughter. We're going to talk lots of things today. We're going to talk moment by moment, wax collection, Harry Potter pre-order, the catalog scents that are coming, the catalog scents that we have now that are retiring, lots of stuff to go through. But before we do that, guess what? I went to the mall with my daughter. I came home and there was a box there. Look at the tiny little box. And I said, oh my gosh, Sensi delivered to me on the weekend. And she said, no, mom, it's Friday. I said, oh yes. <laughs> but I have my case cutter, so <laughs> fear not. Oh, Joanna, Johanna is messaging me on Instagram saying she missed your live and she realized she doesn't realize what's going on right now. <laughs> Hopefully she can hop on. Hello everyone. Hello Lisa. Hello Eddie. I can see some people scrolling up. Nice to have you. We got some packing. So this is a small haul. Don't get too excited. <laughs> but it's got a mylar bag. So this might be a little noisy. Hi Sherry from South Carolina. We got our ice pack. And I think this comes from the bag. <laughs> oh God, okay. So it's all wax in here. I always, I always repurpose all these items, so yes. All right, so let's talk. Well, there's a bar in here that is brand spanking new to me, so, and these are all kind of wet. But here's a bar, the best selling bar ever. Hi Trevor, hi Kayla. Who knows what the best-selling Scentsy bar of all time, I think cumulative is. I'm gonna wait, see if you can guess this one. And if you need a hint, I'll give you a hint. Hi, Cheryl. It's, oh, there we go. Allison wins black raspberry vanilla. So this, interestingly enough, I have a, a, a person that comes to my Zumba class. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Jamie. Um, Green Rain 84, how are you doing? <laughs> I have a person that comes to my Zumba class. She's brand new to Scentsy. She didn't know what to order, so I'll show you her three pack first. So she ordered black, without my recommendation. She picked these on her own. Black raspberry vanilla in the fruity section. So it's dark berries and vanilla, traditional. All right, one for me and one for her. Butter pecan. If fall had a flagship fragrance, <laughs> this blend of candied pecan and maple folded with butter would be a top contender. <laughs> have I said that many times? Yes, I have. If I can say the scent description off by heart, <laughs> you know, it's, it's easy to remember. Hi, Desiree. All right, what else do we have here? And, oh, so, so her, her, she only got three. She said it'll last her months. <laughs> that would last us like a week. Um, and she also picked up tangerine creamsicle. I think this is like a, icy tangerine oh, and mango and like vanilla cream swirl. You're just good with descriptions. I feel like I say them enough and I, I think the reason I can remember things, and I mean, sometimes I get them wrong. Hi, Cindy. Is that I type them out for my scent notes on the bottom so much that I can remember them. And sometimes I type them out so much that iMovie and my phone knows what the notes are. So anyway, this is a really nice one, a bit on the lighter side. All right, so this was her three pack. I think she did a great job. She's got a fruity top seller. She picked a bakery for the fall 
and she picked a nice light citrus. So I think she did a great job. And now I got to teach her how to put wax in the warmers, change the wax, because um, you forget all these things. You forget that brand new customers don't know that the wax doesn't evaporate. You also forget that they don't know to not add new wax onto old wax, all that stuff. You can teach them the ways to remove the wax, things like that. And I do have a wax uh, video, six ways of how I remove wax. And I should really remake that because that, it's, I don't know, it's old. And, but it, it, it is my most popular video, so. Hello, hello everyone. So you know what I use these for? It, this one, not so much because it's the smaller size, but the big size. <laughs> okay, so if you have a, a garbage can in your washroom that's just open, you know, it looks like a bucket but it's not a bucket, it's a garbage can. I take this and line it with that, and then when I dump my hot wax in it, because sometimes I do, because I'm lazy to, I don't like to use a lot of cotton balls because, I don't know, it just, I don't. Because <laughs> I, I run out and then I need to buy more. Anyway, I hot dump, and this thing is like a freaking champ for that. Another tip for you. <laughs> All right, for a customer, she picked up two watermelon patch. Just one second. I'm on my phone tonight, so I'm going to get notifications. I put it on airplane mode, so hopefully it won't be too bad. But watermelon patch from the Bring Back My Bar, which obviously has ended. So this is basically like candied watermelon. I like this one. A really good mixer. And I don't mind that it's artificial because in my experience, all watermelon scents tend to be on the artificial side. All right, but look what we got here, folks. It's a three-pack. <laughs> and da-da-da-da. It's new! <laughs> so this is the um, Disney and Pixar's Cars Radiator Spring Scent. Brandy says, watermelon patch mixed with lemon sorbet is amazing. Yes, I, well, I haven't warmed it, but I would, I would think. Oh, okay. Let me read you the, the notes for this puppy. I, I wrote them down. <laughs> I'm not remembering these ones. Okay, Radiator Springs, here we go. Uh, energized lemon gets off to a fast start Pink grapefruit and red cherry set the pace, and sweet sugar takes the checkered flag. Uh, Allison says, I tried mixing watermelon patch after lemon thyme berry, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I missed that. And I am, I'm going to try to stay on top of things by bringing myself up on my iPad. Because it's really hard to uh, keep on track of the comments. So I will see what I can do with that. And I will try not to miss things. If I tend to miss something, ask it again. <laughs> So anyway, yes, Radiator Springs cars. So I get lemon and I get cherry and like a sweet sugar. It's almost like if you took Rock and Ruby Raz and mixed it with a little bit of, or, or maybe cherry limeade and, and switched out the limeade for lemon. Do I get pink grapefruit? I don't know. This is nice. I would say medium to medium light. Someone, I, I can't remember who I saw. They said they thought it smelled strong. I don't really get that myself. Um, Heidi says, I'm not even trying to keep up with chat. I never can, just I want to watch. Um, one thing I would say is, one thing I've noticed after a live video, first thing, live videos. If you can do this for me, I'd love you to do this for me. For some reason, live videos, they're very important when they're going, but I actually like to have mine for the replay value. So if you can, please give me a thumbs up so that you, YouTube will know that this is a, a useful video to replay. So hopefully you will find that <laughs> and I will earn your thumbs up. But the other thing is after a bit of time goes by and it processes, you can click the little live chat button that's usually somewhere close to the top and you can read along. So that's always fun to do. And I usually try to do that. I usually can't do it till the next day because it takes so long to process for me. But I try to do that in case there's something in the chat that I missed. But yes, this I think you'll probably see this coming up in a video as a voting option soon, if you catch my drift. Has anybody else received the Radiator Springs yet? Hello, Lois. Nice to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Who is new? Who has never been on a live chat before, either with me or any Sensi video? If you're brand new to a live chat, just let me know down in the bottom uh, comments and I will say hello to you. Tammy says, Radiator Springs is warming today and do great. <laughs> I think she means doing great, but that's fine. So this would obviously be, be in the fruity to me. And one thing I find is citrus and fruity, they're kind of, obviously a citrus is a fruit, but a fruit is not necessarily a citrus, so. Well, hello, you guys. I see a few people. First live chat with you, Shelly. 
Good, I'm glad. It's really hard to know when to do a live chat because you want to try to, you don't want to exclude certain time zones, but you want to, you, I tried to switch it up. Last time I did it on a Sunday afternoon, I think it was, and it was really nice. It was fun. We have 77 people watching right now, so thank you so much. <laughs> I love my viewers and subscribers. They're great. All right, so I'm going to be, you'll, you'll see this, I'll, I'll just tell you now, it's going to be voting option number one for Tester Tuesday. <laughs> I haven't filmed that video yet, but I'm pretty much finishing up the warming, so. All right, what are we going to talk about first? I think we should talk about the stuff that's happening now, That's and we're going to talk about it briefly, and then, hi Robin, and then we're going to talk about, like, the dreaded, dun da 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 discontinued list. dun Dun, dun. <laughs> All right, so let me bring up on my iPad, I took some pictures, not, not necessarily to show you guys, just so that I could, um, oh no, I put on the notes, so I could see the description. Okay, so that we're getting a new collection on Tuesday. I don't think the queue is going to be in place, but it's going to launch between 9.30 and 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Do your time zone conversion. But for me, it's usually at 2 p.m. Atlantic. And I'm on the east coast of Canada, so, you, you know, I think all of the U.S. starts at eastern time zone and kind of works your way over. But, um, yes, I'm on Atlantic, which some people don't even know exists, but yes, it does. We're an hour ahead of eastern time zone. Anyway, the Moment by Moment collection, it's a collection of five bars that kind of is inspired by important lifetime moments. It makes me think of that song by Lori Morgan. I think it's called Something in Red. <laughs> You know, she's talking about getting married, she's talking about having the baby and all that stuff. I mean, there's some other things that she talks about that Sensi's not going to cover. But um, so you can get the five pack. And in the U.S. it is, uh, how much is it? 25. And in Canada, it's 33. Now, you do not have to get all five individual scents. You could get three of one, and two of another and skip the other three. Uh, one thing I think you can add it to a three pack or a six pack. Now, if you're if you're thinking the way I'm thinking, Get a six pack, try to get it at 10% off, put your five bars and then add in a regular scent. I don't know if it'll let you put all five of the moment by, or if it will let you put six moment by moments. You might need a regular bar in there, I don't know. But then you can get it at a discount and just pay a tiny bit more and get an extra bar. That's what I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So let me just read you the scents. I don't have, I don't have the bars to show you because they're not here yet, they're coming. The first one is birthday wishes. Raise your hand if you think birthday wishes is gonna be your favorite. <laughs> because this has my name written all over it. Rainbow sugar sprinkles add a sweet surprise to comforting cake batter and whipped vanilla. Doesn't that sound great? It's Rumor has it, it's very much like happy birthday with, a mo with more vanilla. I love happy birthday already, so more vanilla would be great because I am very much a vanilla girl. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to say welcome, and I like creamy vanilla since some people describe that as boring. Cheryl says, are car bars and dryer discs the same thing? I will answer that right now for you. No, uh, car, bar, car bars are rubbery and flexible, and they do emit a fragrance while hanging. And with both products, you don't want any kind of prolonged contact with anything because some of the scent oils will be transferred to that. So, which brings up, they look kind of the same. They're roughly the same size, but dryer discs are a lot thicker. They're made of a different material. They're not flexible. And they're designed to be about 15 loads. And you wanna make sure that they can tumble freely in your dryer so that they do not get wedged into clothes because sometimes you'll take out your clothes and you'll see a weird little, it looks like an oil splotchy mark. That could be your dryer disc. If you see that, it means your, your dryer's probably overloaded or your dryer discs are getting stuck somewhere. And if Shannon is here, she can tell you, one time she said that her dryer disc kept landing in the front of her dryer. So I said, if you have a, a lingerie bag or something, maybe try putting them in that and see if they'll they'll still tumble and give fragrance, but they, they won't tend to get lodged in the front. And yes, it might just be give you a, a little bit of peace of mind that they have like that little mesh separation. Anyway, let's go on the second scent of the moment by moment. What did I miss? Hopefully not too much. <laughs> oh, oh. Shannon says, yes, I put them in a bag now, much better. The dryer discs always fly out when I open the dryer. Yes, they do. And sometimes I find they last way more than 15 loads. So don't necessarily go by what Sensi says. Go by what your nose says. And everybody smells things different. So you might still think it smells 
strong when other somebody else doesn't think it does. I put a dryer disc in with, in with my clothes, but not touching anything, an ocean one. Okay. Second one, down the aisle. And all these are new. And I usually have one local customer, anytime I post a new collection, she messaged me and she says, what do they smell like? And I said, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got them yet. But, but I think that stems from when we actually got the little testers as a surprise. And, and I don't know if I liked that, but anyway. Uh, thank you, Rachel, very much. Nice to have you here. All right, down the aisle, here we go. Dun, da, da, da. Fresh dewy greens celebrate a sweet union of watery pear and peony blossoms. So that sounds nice. I like dewy green scents. I like fl most florals, and I think that's probably gonna be a really nice fresh scent. The next one is, uh, they all say new. Graduation, it says crisp apple lends a fresh perspective to rich suede leather and vintage musk. I picture like, you sitting in like a really expensive private school and you're about to graduate and you can smell like the wood and the, the leather chairs and stuff with an apple. <laughs> All right, uh, the next one is happy home. Excuse me, I'm sorry, happy new home. Yes, Allison thinks the graduation might be similar to Hemingway or Apple S'mores. It could very well be. I would think maybe more Hemingway, but maybe not with cologne. We'll have to see how that, it does say vintage musk, so it might. Maybe an Apple version of <laughs> Saddle Up. Anyway, we'll see. Um, Happy New Home says, bright notes of lemon blossom and mandarin settle in beneath a bright blue sky. So lemon blossom, it doesn't say lemon, it says lemon blossom, so that's an important Thing. And bright blue sky, that's probably like, it, it's gonna be like an airy note. That one makes me feel like it might be a tiny bit light, but I could be wrong. Usually with the five pack collections, before I read the last one, they're, they're usually gonna give you a light one, maybe two to three mediums, and then a boomer. So we'll have to see how that all pans out. The last one is for all new moms or new dads. It says, welcome little one. Soft billowy cotton blossoms and refreshing citrus cradle a whisper of clean musk. That sounds nice. I'm excited. Who, who is gonna get, I'm gonna get all five, obviously. And I'm trying to be um, responsible because I have a lot of wax. So I'll probably try for that six pack thing and I'll probably add like make a splash. Rachel says, I think I'll get down the aisle. I love Melon Scentsy. I don't think down the aisle had anything of melon. It had dewy greens, watery pear and peony blossom. I think this is a nice set. So I think people should get all five. <laughs> well, of course I'm gonna say that, but let's say you get one and you don't like it, put it aside. Don't let it age years and years, but in, you know how if you're going to someone's, you know, you're going to their new home or you're going, it, it's almost like a substitute for a card. I mean, you would probably still give them a card, but wouldn't it be so nice you put the card with the, you know, they have a new baby. You put the little wax bar and you take it to the hospital or you, or, or someone graduates and you know that they like wax or they burn candles and you're like, well, maybe I'll introduce them to Sensi or you know they have a warmer. Give them the, the bar. Anyway, I just think this is a friggin' awesome idea. Because I remember when they came up with the Sleepy Wax Collection or Sleep Happy Collection, I was like, eh, I don't know about that. But this collection sounds right up my alley. So anyway, let's talk about the next thing. I would do the bar plus a Scentsy gift certificate. Well, that is, that is an amazing, <laughs> that is an amazing idea. Now you're, now you're on it because then they can pick the warmer that they want. Shelly, Shelly hit the nail on the head there. <laughs> Shelly, are you a consultant? If you are not a consultant, you should be with, with my thought process like that. All right, definitely down the aisle has my favorite sense. Plus, I'm engaged and birthday wishes. Well, congratula congratulations, Sarah, on your engagement. Everybody's birthday is coming up, so everybody could utilize that one. All right, let's talk briefly about Harry Potter. So, Sensi has a Harry Potter pre-order running from July 7th to 14th. And let me just see here. Uh, there's going to be a four. So, there's three. there's two items that you can pick. The warmer or a four bar wax collection that comes in this beautiful little decorative cute box type thing. And, and I don't know a lot about Harry Potter, so if I say something that's wrong, I apologize. 
or you can get the two things together. Now I will tell you the two things together, you do not save any money, but it's just easy to kind of, as a consultant, you know, either get the warmer, the wax or together. So that's nice. Um, and plus it's a good way to kind of, if people are on the fence, it's a good way to send for Sensi to say, are you sure you don't want both? <laughs> so the person's like, well, maybe I do. Okay. So there's going to be four cents and I will tell you the prices first before I forget. Okay. So let's say you're going to get the wax bar set, just the wax bar set. You're going to pay a deposit first and in the, U the US is $5 and Canada it's seven. That will go towards the price of the full price, which is $24 in the US or uh, 32 in Canada. Now it's a non-refundable deposit. So if you, if the time comes, which will be February, approximately 2022 of getting these items, if you run out of money or don't have anything, you're gonna lose your deposit. So it's not a huge deposit, but just keep that in mind and you can't transfer and all that, that jazz. Um, the reason Sensi is doing a pre-order is because they want to be able to make enough for everybody instead of guesstimating how much they're going to need and then not have enough. So I think this is great and it builds anticipation. And then in February, when they expect them to be ar arriving, they will actually probably sell what's left over. So we don't know what the quantities are with that, but that's going to be the stressful, like nail biting in the queue. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Kimmer says, I love the sounds of the Harry Potter wax collection. So let me read you the, the notes for this. And I'm probably going to hopefully don't mispronounce these. So there's Gryffindor, Bravery and Determination. This one says, Race through dairy, daring smoky woods while amber and a touch of dapper cinnamon leaf bring warmth to your journey. And I believe these are all the different hog work, hogs, Hogwarts house, houses. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into this stuff. All right, Slytherin says cunning and ambition. Forest woods hide dark secrets and fresh oak moss and a sweetly sinister layer of deep blackberry. All right, Hufflepuff, just and loyal. The great hall beckons with sweet and steadfast notes of golden apple, whipped vanilla almond and cinnamon sugar. Sounds nice. And Ravenclaw, wit and wisdom says a clever concoction of suede and sandalwood is mellowed handsomely by a ribbon of smooth vanilla. That sounds really nice too. Almost like vanilla suede. All right, so if you wanna get the warmer, there's, the warmer is a $20 deposit in Canada or 15 in the US. That goes towards the full price of the warmer. Now that full price is 99 in Canada or 75 in the US. And then the bundle, if you get both, the deposits are actually the same as the warmer. So 20 in Canada, 15 in the US. And the full price of the bundle in Canada is 131, and in the US it's 99. Keep in mind that does not include tax and shipping. And please keep in mind when you pay your deposit, it will probably have the tax in your area added on. So they do that in parts. So don't panic. If you're supposed to pay $20 and you have a certain amount of tax, it's gonna to be together, okay? I think we pretty much covered that. I feel like we have a lot to discuss. I am gonna to try to make this about an hour. A. May says, they all sound uh, nice. I really want to smell the forest woods. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'll probably get two sets, and I don't know if I want to get the warmer, but I, I kind of like the warmer, so I, I don't know. All right. One thing I want to say is on the end of, at the end of every month, if you're a consultant, or even if I believe if you're just a regular consumer, not that you're just a regular consumer, but if you're not a Sensi consultant, I think you can watch Sensi's Facebook Lives, and they had a different Facebook Live this time because Heidi and Orville have gone over to London and we had Dan and Lacey do the live. Now, it's funny, this Dan guy, <laughs> I remember, I just gotta backtrack for a second. <laughs> do you remember when we had changes to the Sensi Club and everybody was all up in arms like, oh my God, these are the worst changes ever. And this Dan, Dan Orchard guy did a video and he was like really nervous. <laughs> I remember thinking, uh-oh. Anyway, he seemed a little nervous at the start, but he just, as soon as the Lacey girl came in, they just, he just kind of slid into his role and it was good um, chemistry between the two. I really liked it. I liked it better than, you know, normal. But one thing that they talked about was that there is going to be a free bottle provided with the all-purpose cleaner concentrate in July. Now, I will say that they said that is actually delayed, my friend Shannon. Shout out to Shannon. Again, she messaged me and said that that is delayed. So keep note of, you know, talk to your consultant. If you want to get all purpose cleaner concentrate, 
hold off until you find out about the free like empty bottle that you can it's like a decorative scentsy bottle it's free so hold off until you hear about that because i don't think any we don't have any scents that are retiring in the all-purpose cleaner concentrate so yeah hold off i mean hopefully it'll happen later this month and you can get your 10 percent off as well um the other thing is during that live video did anybody here watch the live video because when you when i saw that obsidian warmer and he was flipping through and i saw the obsidian warmer which is my like i would love to get that it's not in region one but it's in the other regions and i'm like Ugh. and then he said oh i've got all three catalogs here so then i had to wait a few hours only to find out that it's not coming to region one so i was so sad so hopefully if sensi watches these videos which i'm sure they don't but if they hear from you guys tell them that you want the obsidian warmer <laughs> it's like the um oh what was what was it called i can picture it it was gold there's a 40 watt edison if you know the name of the warmer I'm talking about, what's the gold version called? I've just bought the Obsidian Warmer. It's lovely. I hope you can get it too. I hope so too. <laughs> um, so this month we have a new warmer and scent of the month. We have the Above the Clouds little, and that's a 13 watt element. So that's, yes, champagne. Thank you, Patrice. Patrice knows everything. She's the best. Um, the Above the Clouds little cloud, it's 13 watts. So that's really nice. And we have the scent of the month, which I have right here. I got a little tickle trunk here. Can you see it? <laughs> this is where I hide all my special bars. How long has it been out in other places? Shannon wants to know. I don't know that. Chime in if you know about the obsidian warmer. This is our scent of the month. Woo, it's strong out of the clamshell. It does kind of chill out a little bit. The prettiest color wax you've ever seen. It's very um, musky and florally with powder and sandalwood to me. People describe it as a jammy time. I can see it being a relative of jammy time, but I don't think it's super, super close. But that, that is nice. Uh, I, I kind of think it's one that I like when it's warming, but I, I probably won't reach for it often. The scent of the month is great and reminds me of jammy time. Started that one today. Uh, and in region three, she thinks it's, well, I thought, they, I thought I saw that it was actually leaving region three. <laughs> Lois says, oh my God, I'm going to need a bigger house with all these new cool warmers. So when I first started with Sensi, I, I said, well, why would I need to buy more warmers? <laughs> so I just had what I needed, but now I kind of rotate them in and out and I'll see people's Instagram posts and I'm like, I have that warmer. <laughs> I got to pull it out. <laughs> like the stone leaf. We'll talk about that here in a second, but this, well, yeah, let's talk about it now. It's, I have a list of stuff that we're covering. <laughs> all right. So speaking of the stone leaf warmer, okay, speaking of Instagram, if you haven't, if you are on Instagram, please look me up. It's Patricia Gates. It's Patricia, if you know how to spell that. And then G-A-E-T-Z. And in Canada, we say Z. So in the US, I think you say Z. And one thing I wanna say, when I watch people from the US do YouTube videos, they don't say cotton the way we say cotton. They say cotton, like they, they leave the T's out. Cotton, that's how we say it, that's how I say it. But they, but you guys in the States say cotton, like you leave a, I don't know, pay attention and see if anyone else notices that. I'm a hobbyist consultant, oh, I missed that. I'm gonna have to bring, bring up my iPad here now. What I'm gonna do is turn it down because I'm probably gonna hear myself in one second. Just uh, talk amongst yourselves. Please write down in the comments where you're from and perhaps you'll find a friend in your area while I look myself up. That's how, that's how I do it so that there's no like dull air time so you have something to do. Okay, let's turn the volume down and bring myself up. Oh, all right, okay. So we're getting, oh, I don't know how, oh, Washington State, Winnipeg, Montreal. We have some Canadians, Nebraska. Uh, what is August scent of the month? Oh, you guys just always want to know things, don't you? It's going to be called Vanilla Blackberry. Uh, bold, fruity blackberry draws you in with an amber and vanilla finish. I have somewhere I have the breakdown of the notes, but we'll just talk about that in the scent of the month video. Memphis, Tennessee, Ontario, Canada. All right, so I think I've got... Here I am. I'm just gonna wait, uh, I might take a second. Oh, here we go. Okay, 
All right, so, oh, Enfield, Sandra, how are you doing? Enfield is kind of close to me. Um, I think it's Enfield. I always get Enfield and Elmsdale mixed up, but is it Enfield that has the big stop? <laughs> Sometimes I go there and eat. Maine, Kentucky, Georgia, Massachusetts. That's always hard to say. I love Boston. Boston to me is like a Halifax where I grew up, grew up and close to where I live, that's where I work. It's like a mini Boston. I love it. Dorinda says, hi, Patricia. I'm from Allen Park, Michigan. Well, thank you for joining me. And Rachel says Texas and I'll Mullen says Olympia, Washington. I don't, I, I probably mispronounced it. I'm so sorry. Robin says Missouri. Oh, Desiree wants to talk about the whippersnippers. Guess what? I, I actually had the windows open a little bit and I thought there's not going to be any whippersnipping going on tonight because it's dark outside. <laughs> so if we hear a whippersnipper, which most people call a weed whacker, but here in Canada and I guess Australia, we call, you guys call them whippersnipper. But if we hear that, it's probably like an axe murderer outside. <laughs> anyway, I'm in a quiet area. I don't think we're going to hear anything. All right, let's talk about the discontinued stuff. I have the list. All right, I'm going to, do you guys want me to break down like everything? Or should we just talk wax? I'll wait and see what you want. But I will say, of the warmers, the moon over Jupiter warmer is, is um, in that discontinued list. I'm kind of surprised because they had, a, they had a problem like stocking that. I thought they would have kept that going for a little bit so people could get it. Yeah, the whippersnipper I think was the like comment of the <laughs> live last video. So there was someone outside cutting their weeds and I said, oh, you can hear a whippersnipper. And then, you know, Desiree started <laughs> talking about the whippersnipper and then everybody was chatting about it, so. But yes, moon over Jupiter, wax and pods, someone says. Did I, does anybody want the warmers? I will say uh, the stone leaf warmer, which I put on my Instagram. I really like that warmer. It's a good warmer. It's like when you take the wax dish off, it's heavy and the stone is heavy and it gets nice and warm. So when you're looking for a warmer, ceramic gets hotter. Ceramic dishes retain the heat better. So if you have a dish with a glass or a warmer, say it's a ceramic warmer, but it's got a glass dish, might not retain the heat as well as a ceramic dish. There's one called Crystal Leaves and it has a glass dish and sometimes I put my ceramic dish on. It looks fine too. And I think it, it actually helps it work better. The Jupiter warmer would be glass. So it's 25 watt, but it's glass. One, one way you can tell is if there's no holes in the warmer anywhere, it's glass. If it gives off a super amount, of, a lot of light, it's glass. Um, but Yes, uh, we have a few that, no, no real surprises. Um, I will say that the um, warmer stands, the branch, the square, the stencil, and the tracks are all leaving. So one thing is, I've showed you guys the pressed tin warmer, which is that square white warmer with the like little, it's very pretty, I have it here in my bedroom, I can't really show you right now. But look up the pressed tin. If you wanna really pick that one up and polish it off, you need to pick up the branch warmer stand because it fits it perfectly, like it just, it's like maybe a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around, but it really sets off that warmer. You've got to pick that up. All right. All right. Um, let's talk, let's talk scents. I'm sticking up on the stands. I think you mean stocking up, right? Yes. So there's two different types of stands. Some are cord concealing and some are not. So the square on, the discontinued list is not. It's just a, a, a decorative stand, but the other ones you can put your cord underneath and wrap it around. So really good in kitchens or bathrooms where you don't want tons of uh, cord everywhere on the counter, you can kind of hide them. Or if you have a table with an open back and you don't like to look a bunch of cord draping, you can reduce a little bit of the cord that you might see. Nothing leaving in wax surprised me this time, although I like pink cotton and magnolia linen. Uh, should be year round. All right. So let's talk about, we're gonna, we're gonna go one, one by one. So we have aloe vera and ivy. That is, these are, these are all the things that are leaving. So some of them are seasonal retirements and some of them might be for good. And the thing about Sensi is you just never know. So aloe vera and ivy was a scent of the month that is going. Aloha citrus is a very light, light citrus scent. That is a, one of those scents that I just wish, <laughs> I'm sorry if you like aloha citrus, uh, but I wish it was gone because to me, it's so light and very few people get anything from it. So it's kind of taking the spot of a good one in my opinion, but anyway, must still sell well. Apricot vanilla is light, but I, f I feel like that is very popular and scent appeal for people. 
Atlantic Air is going, and that used to be a year-round scent when I first joined, and now it's become a, a seasonal scent, which is, is very fitting. Be fabulous. I think we'll probably see that one come back, but I, I can't be sure. Very Bright. I think Very Bright might be El Gonzo because they kept it around. I thought it was odd that they kept it around in the fall and winter. Let me see what I'm missing here. Just one second. Uh, people are talking, a uh, bonfire beach, uh, okay, what sense will I retire? Okay. All right. So very bright. I think when a scent like that leaves where it was available for the past year, that's usually not a good sign. And the fact that they moved the pods into clearance is not a good sign. Before I forget, why are the Disney pods so much more expensive than the regular pods? I know there's a license, but but usually it's not an extraordinary, like in Canada, they're $3 more a pot. That's crazy. I forget, I don't know what they are in the US because if I look up US, I just have to change the um, menu to US and I can find all the US prices, but I, I forgot forgot to do that. But anyway, now we're on to Bonfire Beach. Bonfire Beach, it used to be a year round scent as well when I first joined, now it's a seasonal scent. I would expect to see that back. When I give you my predictions, they are just my predictions. I do not know. I don't have any insider information. I'm going by my gut instinct. And remember, you should always put things that you're in love with in your Scentsy Club as always get my bar security feature because that means Scentsy will keep supplying it for you as long as it stays in your subscription and you do not, do not exceed one calendar, one skip in a full 365 day span. Um, the other thing is being a sale month, it makes sense to stock up and sometimes if you don't think you're gonna use, for me, I get a quarterly club. So I get it every three months and I skip it once per year. So I actually get three clubs a year. And if I think to myself, like if I put in my club, I'm gonna get three bars in a year. Am I gonna use those all? Like, so sometimes if I've got a bunch in my closet and I only use one or two a year, if I've got six there, I'm not gonna necessarily put in my club. But a lot of, I take gambles, whereas most, most people do not. So please remember, the absolute loves that you really can't live without, they must go in your Scentsy Club, and you can always, always stock up too if it makes you feel better. Anyway, uh, we have Camu Camu retiring. That's a very, um, my club is redonkulous. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of clubs, I will be doing a club uh, edit video. I, I, I see that people really like those, and I have a bunch that I can ax because they're coming back but I don't want to ask them yet because I want to, I want to ask them on air for you guys because that's kind of rewarding for you. I prefer to stock up. It's like a security blanket. That's what Suzanne says. So, so we have Camo Camo, which is leaving. And again, when I first joined, that was a year-round scent. I first joined in February 2018. That's a really nice scent. It, it, I find it fairly strong too. So cinnamon vanilla. They, I think that when they brought it back and they kind of brought it back off-season, but now it's leaving again. So maybe it just didn't um, survive in sales. I really like cinnamon vanilla myself, <laughs> surprise. Coastal Sunset, that, my husband really likes that one. I find that one pretty long lasting. That was a new release. Coco Lime is leaving in the citrus category. Coral Waters, was that in the fresh? That was a very laundry-like scent to me. French Lavender, again, I think they were like, people were like, we need lavender, we need lavender. And then they brought it back and maybe it didn't sell well enough. Or maybe they're just going to have it as a spring and summer. We don't know. So if you're a French Lavender fan, please, for goodness sakes, put it in your club. <laughs> um, Go Go Mango is a, a, um, a fruity scent. And some people find that light. So I just want to see if I'm missing anything. Can Candle says she, they really don't like Camu Camu. Sometimes I think there's, a, um, there's like a passion fruit or papaya note in there. Havana Cabana, that is a light, uh, like a fruity, citrusy scent. It's got a lot of bananas. Here comes the sunflowers. That's kind of like a little bit more of a musky floral, uh, perfumey floral. It was not a big, I think some people say it reminds them of Beach Daisy. I find Beach Daisy is more of a fruity floral and that one has some fruit in it, but I really get like a perfumey floral with that one. But I, I mean, I, I haven't warmed it in a full bar. I don't think I actually just warmed it in testers. Hibiscus pineapple is really pretty. That one's leaving us. I think that one will be back, but that's just my guess. Inhale, exhale, I think will probably not be back. So 
stock up on that one. That one is strong and long lasting and not one that I like personally, but that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it just means I don't like it. Ada says, I really like Sunflower's perfume. And yes, most people say that's what it smells like. I have not smelled that perfume. I have not smelled a lot of perfumes because I work in a scent free office. So that sucks. <laughs> uh, Iridescent Pearl is leaving. Lavender Cotton. Is that staying in laundry? I think it is. Allison says, I love Make a Splash. I think it will be back. I think so. I might put it in my club, but I don't know. Kimmer says, I love Inhale, Exhale in my club. Yes, that is a good thing. So Lavender Cotton, if it's staying in laundry, which I believe it is, let me see, laundry, laundry. Yes, it is. Uh, then it's a good chance it'll come back in the spring and summer of next year, but you never know because they have things like pineapple, coconut, vanilla, or shimmer in the body line, but we don't have those in wax. Uh, lemon Verbena and Lemon Sorbet are both leaving. Lemon Verbena is one of those scents, sometimes it sticks around all year and sometimes it leaves. So that one's going. So then we have Lilacs and Violets and Lush Gardenia, which are two very heavy florals, so it makes sense that those are leaving. We have Mad for Melon and we have Magnolia Linen. Did you register for Scentsy Reunion? If yes, did you get your stuff? No, I did not. I'm not, I'm probably not gonna do it. <laughs> I always just, I always say I'm, I'm like not your typical consultant. So, I mean, here I am work, wearing purple, which is a shocker, but it's not Scentsy purple. I don't own one piece of Scentsy, Scentsy clothing. <laughs> oh no, I do, because I got a t-shirt. I got a t-shirt with one that I qualified for last year, but but if, if it's ever in person again, I will probably try to go. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably stick out like a sore thumb because I probably won't be wearing Scentsy clothes. But um, yes, SFR is like the Scentsy, um, in Zumba, we called it um, Zen, like, you know, you, you would go and, and it was called ZenCon. It's like a, you know, instruct um, in a convention, but for consultants. Anyway, Magnolia Linen, hopefully that will come back in laundry next year. We have Mahalo Coconut Make a Splash are leaving. Yes, we're gonna get to that Shannon. Shannon is jump of the gun. <laughs> Mocha Doodle, there's another one. So Mocha Doodle is a very, um, it's probably more applicable to fall winter. And so the fact that it's leaving, is, and it's almost like they said, okay, oh no, Shannon, that's okay. I'm just, I'm just teasing you, I love you. Shannon can do whatever she wants, she, she helps me. Um, hi, Emily, I'm good, thank you. We're just talking about scents that are not, um, that are being retired, so stay tuned. We're about halfway through. Uh, so Mocha Doodle, please put that in your club because I think that will not be returning. Because I think what happened was they were like, okay, we'll bring it back again. And then if it if it didn't sell well enough, they're like, uh, see, didn't sell well enough. <laughs> um, but it would really sell better in this season. Anyway, and plus with Coffee Tree, maybe Coffee Tree took away some of Mocha Doodle's Mocha Doodle sales, although they're not the same. But all right, now and Zen is gone which is okay by me, that's also leaving in the body line. So I think that's a goner, it won't be back. Oh, Snapdragon is leaving. Paradise Punch, leaving. Peach Nectar, leaving. Pina Colada Cha Cha. That is probably the only one I'm probably gonna put in my Scentsy Club. Somebody said, which ones are you gonna put in your Scentsy Club? <laughs> I'm probably just gonna put that one. Maybe one other. The other one, it can. I don't know. I mean, sometimes at the last minute you throw some in, but I might throw and make a splash. Pineapple Pucker, gone. Pink Cotton. I thought, I, I'm always surprised when Pink Cotton, and it's leaving in the body, so I, I don't know about Pink Cotton. That one is a really good performer. I think I picked up two or three bars in my my order. I ordered some, some things ju yesterday, July 1st, and they shipped today. Yes, which reminds me, I have to ask a question. I'm, I'm probably gonna ask it now because, so I don't forget. All right, where was I? I was at Pink Cotton, so I don't wanna forget. Okay, when I do Tester Tuesday, I like to warm the testers when I get them and do the new release edition and I draw the scents and you guys vote on the scents. Should I start them when I get my testers? Because if I do that, I only have two testers to warm because I buy three sets and one is my master set so I don't mind warming the other two. But that only gives me a cube and a half, so should I do that? Or should I wait until I get my bars? Because I did get the incentive, so I will be getting some bars and some other stuff. So let me know down in the comments if you want me to do it as fast as possible with the testers or wait until I get the bars because then I, I can kind of warm in more areas and get a better feel. So I will see what the majority is and then I'll take that into 
I'll factor that in. And thank you. We have 109. We had 119. We just lost two people. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you because I love Chat and Sensi. It's something I really am passionate about. And I think my life has changed because of Sensi. And I know that sounds sappy, but <laughs> it's true. All right. Prickly Pear and Agave is leaving us in wax and also leaving us in the body line. And I think that one will be gone. So keep that in mind. Um, but Prickly Pear and Agave is a very long lasting scent. So if you like long lasting scents, you want to pick that one up. Rainbow Sherbert is leaving and that is a strong scent if you like strong scents. Rainbows and Butterflies is a very kid, happy-go-lucky, candy-like confection scent. It puts me in a good mood. I don't think I'm going to put it in my Scentsy Club because I have a few bars, but I really like that one. Cold Sniff Testers Warm the Bars. Okay. Sand Swept is leaving. That was a new release. And remember, any of these ones, I always say if you really like the scent, you should also pick them up in the room spray because the room spray is 10% off. And then sometimes, let's say you're like, oh, I'm really missing Sand Swept, but I don't want to warm my bar because it's out of season. But you could just spray a little bit of Sand Swept and enjoy it for like 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> I think that's like almost like instant gratification when you, you have a room spray and you just kind of get your fix and then you can move on. Um, we have satin sheets, which is leaving. That one kind of comes and goes, comes and goes. We have sheer leather. <sighs> sheer leather is leaving. I picked up a six pack because I don't want to put it in my Sunset Club because I w it's the sexy bedroom scent. So I only warm it in the bedroom. And I, I have so many wax bars that I usually don't get around to my favorites very often, but sheer leather is so nice. It's a touch of leather and you get like sandalwood and bergamot. And it's like, picture the hottest, I think I always say Ryan Gosling, like a sexy kind of young, like confident, understated, like movie star. And, and you walked by him, he was on set and you just kind of walked by, he would smell like sheer leather. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we have skinny dipping, which is leaving. Now, as long as they don't change the bricks, you will be able to access skinny dipping in a brick. But it would be nice if they actually updated the bricks. And okay, don't freak out on me. Don't No, I don't suggest taking all 12 and updating, but maybe keep the 12 and then add in three seasonal bricks every year, uh, like three seasonal fall and winter or three seasonal spring summer. And that would be a lovely thing because we always get the holiday bricks, but sometimes it would just be nice to kind of like shake things up a little and give us three bonus bricks a year. And people would be really excited about that. All right, strawberry rose. Oh. <laughs> well give it a try and see because that one would mix very well with a lot of things so I'm sorry you guys can't get bricks I feel I shouldn't complain about them I never warm sheer leather but it's in my club right now you and your sexy bedroom are partly to blame <laughs> there's not much sexiness going on here right now <laughs> all right where was I skinny dipin okay strawberry rose I, I bought a few bars of that uh sugared strawberry gone That'll probably be back. Summer holiday, gone, but I think that will be back. But you, you just never know. <laughs> Put it in your club if you're not sure. Sun-soaked petals. Uh, that was strong, but I don't think it... Uh, florals are at a disadvantage, so if you like that one, definitely put it in your club. Uh, tangerine creamsicle, gone. Watermelon tangerine, gone. Okay, we're not going to cover fragrance flowers, uh, oil, scent packs, pods, car bars, car clips, and travel tins. Um, any of those scents that I just mentioned, if you see, if you know that they're available in another product, that other product is also leaving, except for things like lavender cotton laundry. Alrighty. I can try to link the list in the description box below, but I don't think it will link because I probably don't know how to do it. All right. So let me bring up, uh, I'm going to bring up the catalog if I can on my iPad here. Uh, download. So let's talk about scents that are not coming back because the reason that you guys need to know this, I'm sure you probably know some of you that are addicts, you found out what's coming in the catalog. But if you do not know, you need to know these things so you can strategize with your Scentsy Club depending on when it's gonna process and ship, okay? So what I did, and I hope I don't miss any, but what I did was I took my old catalog and I went down and put an X next to the ones that aren't coming back. So here we go. If I miss any, please tell me. <laughs> Apple and Oats is not returning from last fall winter. These are all from last fall winter. 
blood orange spice, brownie batter, which I suspected, candied cranberry pecan or pecan. I'm surprised. I thought that one was a pretty good seller. Patrice says, haha, I was up at 5 a.m. to see the new catalog. Christmas cactus. I was on some consultant, like a consultant page, and there were so many people upset about Christmas cactus. So, you know, hopefully if you love that one, you put it in your club. All right. The next one is probably the biggest surprise for me personally. Uh, yes, I do think it will stay in bricks because it's been in bricks for a while. I, they usually don't just act something without telling us, although they do. They do sometimes. But, uh, cozy fireside. Oh, yes, Trevor, I will talk about that. Thank you for reminding me. Hopefully, I'm going to make a note there. <laughs> Cozy Fireside is the biggest shocker for me because that one's been around for so long and it's it's not coming back. So as is as Cranberry Garland, it's not coming back either. So I think they're kind of bringing in jeweled pomegranate, which to me is a little bit of a surprise. And to me, bringing in jeweled pomegranate, that one is actually going to be available in like the body line. So I don't know. That's, I don't know if I want to smell like jeweled pomegranate. So anyway, those are, I have one customer that's going to be very upset about the uh, cozy fireside. Let me tell you, I have one bar, so I'll probably fold onto it and, you know, you know throw her a life preserver. <laughs> um, evergreen and grapefruit is not coming back. Already, honey pear cider is not coming back. Honey pear cider, shocker. Now, I thought last year that one is was a little bit on shaky ground because sometimes you kind of just see like through what your customers order, you see things kind of slowly dissipate and you know, it's not as popular. But yes, honey pear cider is not coming back. So say a little rest in peace for honey pear cider. Now the good news is, please don't freak out. You might have to wait a couple years, but I'm pretty sure it'll come back and bring back my bar. That's probably not a good thing. It's like, I'm twisting the knife a little bit, but um, yes, I think Bright Cider Life did um, come in its place. Not that they're the same, but I think they didn't want too many cider scents. So, anyways, I'm snow over it, not coming back. Just for you, perfect pumpkin pear. We already talked about lemon verbena not coming back, and sheer leather. But pretty and plaid is not coming back. As also snow kiss cranberry. Now slay the day is not coming back, but and stroop. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting excited. Okay. When they put things into bricks, you got to remember, if you get a brick of something, that's like 5.75-ish bars of wax. So you're not going to need to buy that wax for a while. So automatically those wax bars go down in sales. So then it's almost like the kiss of death if they bring you out in a brick. Because <laughs> you're like, uh-oh, I'm going to get popular, but my bar sales are going to become unpopular. So anyway, uh, I said slay all day. Snow Kiss Cranberry, unfortunately, is leaving. I love that one. I think I have about a brick and nine cubes out of another brick and I have like a couple bars. Stroop Waffle Delight. When I saw that one I kind of went oh because I was surprised at Stroop Waffle Delight. I, I was surprised at that. And the other thing about Jeweled Pomegranate because that one is coming I kind of wonder if if that one's still sticking around and they're like well hopefully we'll sell some more because <laughs> we'll put it in the catalog. But you got to remember they decide these things like well in advance and they, they probably can make some changes but they probably can't if they're going to put jeweled pomegranate in the body line they can't just s suddenly change it if it didn't sell so well so anyway um let me just look at uh what are you guys excited for oh yes eskimo kiss eskimo kiss has been renamed to Polar bear hugs, I believe. Now, the confusing thing about that is on the Arctic Kiss packaging are pictures of polar bears. I think they're kissing, actually. But <laughs> maybe they shouldn't have picked the polar bear part of it and picked something else because that could be confusing. But Arctic Kiss is coming back. Yay! Um, so the ones that I'm able to remove, I think, from my club are Around the Campfire. I'm, I'm very happy that came back. And if you haven't tried that, pick it up. And you don't have to warm it on its own. Use it like Palo Santo, like throw a little bit, half a cube in with something and experiment. It's really nice. Um, maybe maybe not if you don't like any smoke, but so I'm, I'm going to be able to get around the campfire gone. Silver Bells is coming back. 
that one I can take out. Vanilla Mint is coming back. Um, what else? Arctic Kiss. I think there's five I can remove. I forget the other one, but I'm getting excited. Uh, yeah, so let's just see. So Eskimo Kiss is coming back, but if you're a consultant, let your customers know that love Eskimo Kiss, that, you know, it's back, but it's under a different name. That is an important thing to know. Oh, and, and, and there's a few people on YouTube that made the catalog. Angie Tallarico Dalton and Spice Dawn. That was pretty cool. I'm not in the catalog, but maybe someday. <laughs> all right, so here we have, I'm just going to turn it. Here we have all the scents that are coming. So we have some 10 new releases, and I can look those up here in a second. But we have Very Blessed coming. That's returning from the, what was it? What was it called? The Christmas three pack. I don't remember what, what that was called. Breakfast in Bed is coming back. A Bright Cider Life from the Harvest is coming. We have, we have Cloudberry Dreams staying and that one is going in laundry. Love Around the Campfire, maybe mixed with Cinnamon Bear for a clo closest, close to being cozy fireside. Shannon says, I'm hoping Magnolia Linen comes in laundry in the spring. Me too. So excited for the new scent with the Prosecco note. I, I can quickly go over those in here in a second, but we're getting close to an hour so. Um, but we have a lot of returning scents that we're used to. Cozy Cardigan is back for all you Cozy Cardigan fans. Uh, for me, I'm very happy that Homestead Holiday is back because that's my Christmas Eve into Christmas Day scent that I warm every year. Hug in a Mug, Ice Pine. We have Jeweled Pomegranate, like I said. And guess who's no longer the pool boy or he's moving inside. He's going to be the rink boy <laughs> in the winter, Johnny Appleseed. So he is staying around. That's probably one of the bigger surprises. So I was pretty happy about that. My hero, I'm so happy to see that stay. Uh, let's see. Pumpkin Chai is making its way into the catalog from the, what was that called? <laughs> the pumpkin three pack? Oh, the gorgeous three pack, that's right. Red Berry and Spruce. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you guys, I wanna give you a tip. If you're someone like me, and you hoard wax, <laughs> and you have collections like Sense of the Season, or Sleep Happy, or what else? Uh, the Life's a Garden, and they're in a bag. After the video's over, I want you to go to your wax closet here, and I want you to dig out your bag, and I want you to check, because if your bag is stored in a funky way, and your red berry and spruce bars are leaking <laughs> all over the other bars, you might want to address that. So, Try to make it so your wax bars stack one on top of another in the bag and store that upright so that you don't, if they, if they were art of sweat, they don't sweat all over everything, okay? So don't forget to go and do that. Uh, salted Caramel Toffee, which is a brick, has made its way into the catalog. And we have, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vanilla Waves is staying. The only new release that has stayed, in, it's in the bakery section. And we have some of the regulars that have coming back and I've, obviously everybody loves winterberry apple tea. I think they should bring out like a bonus three bricks in the Scentsy Club. I would say something like cider mill because that one would do really well. Pumpkin cinnamon swirl or pumpkin roll. I, I wouldn't know which one to pick. And winterberry apple tea. That would satisfy a lot of people. And they could still get all those other bricks. Okay, let's, let's, just go to the new releases. We're going to talk very briefly about those. I don't have them obviously yet, but everybody always wants to know what are the new release scents. Um, how long will the Father's Day collection scents be eligible to add to the club? I would say like not very much longer. I don't know what day that launched, but I can try to find out and I will put it. I'll write that down. I'll try to find out and put it in the comments, but I, could, I added vanilla bourbon the other day, so just because I was like, oh, maybe I should add it <laughs> on Father's Day. Okay. So let's talk. Um, do you guys want me to read the notes of the new releases or just the names? So we have 10. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. 10 new releases. All right. Both. Okay. Okay. Both. Got it. Okay. Blue Sage and some... Let's do that again. Blue Sage and Tonka is in the woods section. It says, 
A revel in the riches of midnight sage and black lavender over the salty sweetness of tonka bean. So that is the one that makes me a little nervous because sage can be hit or miss and lavender as well with me. I vote Patricia for the Scentsy Brick Release Committee. <laughs> and, and put me on the Bring Back My Bar Committee and the voting will run very smoothly. <laughs> I'll make sure that the right ones get put into the vote list. Okay, cashmere and corduroy is also in the woods section. It says wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. Sounds nice. That it almost sounds like a like a little bit more masculine version of cozy cashmere. Remember that scent? I don't know. I don't know what the notes were on that one. C uh, cinnamon buttercream it says Italian buttercream and creamy mascarpone. Scooped over cinnamon cake, combined sugar, spice, and everything nice. And that is in the bakery section. Yes, I could be. <laughs> I'm open to that, Patrice. Bribes can be uh, totally okay. <laughs> okay, eucalyptus wreath is in the fresh category. And for some reason, this one is really intriguing to me. It says, fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint. That sounds like something like DW Home Candle. Like, they're all about that kind of stuff. So that might be a really nice one. And I must say, if I don't sound enthusiastic about the new releases, it's not that I'm not excited because I am totally excited, but I'm trying not to get my hopes up because sometimes if you get your hopes up too much for a scent, that's when you're kind of let down. So I'm just, I'm being chill about it. Being chill. <laughs> all right, so Graham Cracker Crunch. I'm being very chill excited for this one. This is in the bakery. It says caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. Anybody who knows me, like in my real life, besides Scentsy Land, knows how much I love peanut butter. And I'm wondering if this is gonna be slightly different from that um, warm, what's it called? What's the one from Goose Creek called? Peanut butter sugar or something? Oh, so good, so good. Or it could even be like the Bath and Body Works like uh, pumpkin peanut brittle without the pumpkin. We'll see. We shall see. Do not let the peanut butter notes scare you. That's the one I'm probably the most like intrigued with. Then we have Harvest Blessings, which is in the spice. This says radiant apple, spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak embody everything you love about autumn. The next one is the pomegranate prosecco. Delectable rosé berry and pomegranate add an effervescent splash to a flute of pink Prosecco, and that is in the fruity section. So, then we have Scarlet Sunflower. This one sounds really nice. It's not in the floral, it's in the fruity. This one says juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. I think that one's gonna be really nice in like August and September, so. And I bet you the wax is gonna be this pretty like yellow. Let's see if I can see. Spiced Ember Glow is in the spice section. It says smoked apple and toasted vanilla over cinnamon embers offer a warm and inviting escape. So part of me wonders if that's like a combination of like, I feel like it might be like cozy fireside mixed with like almost like an apple s'mores. I don't know. That one's really gonna be interesting. And then the last one, and this one sounds really nice too, is in the fruity, it's called Tinselberry. It says strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar. Strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for an, a little extra sparkle. It doesn't, it doesn't sound right. Maybe I'm not reading that right. It's like they're missing a word. <laughs> anyway, which ones are you guys excited for? Uh... I'm gonna wait and see what your answers are and I am going to bring myself up. I think for me, I am very excited for quite a few of them actually. I think maybe it might be quicker to say the ones I'm not excited for. I'm probably not as excited for blue sage and tonka and pomegranate prosecco, just cause sometimes I'm not huge into fizzy, but all the other ones sound really nice. So I'm excited. Cashmere and corduroy, Jacqueline says, the eucalyptus one sounds nice. Molly says she agrees with you. I don't know if I'm you, but Carrie says, hi, sorry I'm late. No problem, we're, all, we're almost gonna wrap things up soon. Trevor says, graham cracker crunch, harvest blessing and the ember one. And Green Rain says, graham cracker crunch and cinnamon buttercream. And Jingles says, the graham cracker one. And Shelly says, I have six that she wants. 
Well, she has six that she wants. <laughs> Patrice says graham cracker crunch and cinnamon buttercream. Yeah, so those ones, I mean, it's going to be a good, like it's, July is going to be so, so busy. So, I mean, we have, um, we have so much stuff going on like this month. We've got the release coming up Tuesday. Then we got the pre-order. We got all month, 10% off. Please, please be aware that the 10% off is while quantities last. So don't procrastinate and wait close to the end of the month. If you have a list of things that you want to stock up on, I would buy them in the next week or two at, at the latest. Kayla says fall bakery is her favorite. So from the ones that are coming back into the catalog or kind of which ones are you guys really happy to see? I'm really happy to see Arctic Kiss. I'm, I'm eager to see what you guys, I, I have a feeling most people are excited about Arctic Kiss as well. Um, I'm obviously excited about like the return of like Cider Mill and Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl and Silver Bells and all the ones that hopefully we see back every year, but sometimes you kind of want to see. It always reminds me of like when you were younger and, and you were trying to make a sports team and you had to go and check the list and see if you were on the list. <laughs> Uh, Bright Sider Life. Yes, that was a very popular one from the Harvest collection. So that is really good. And we'll see the Harvest collection. Um, I think it launches. Does it launch August 1st or September 1st? Jacqueline's happy about red berry and spruce. And uh, Cindy was hoping for cozy spice. Sometimes you never know with those cozy scents and all those limited time. Um, Kathleen asked, I'm nervous about the peanut butter note allergy. Would it be a peanut type oil? I don't think. Uh, they probably would try to avoid that for that very reason, but that would be a great thing. I'll try to see if I can find that out for you. So um, before we wrap things up, um, again, if, if you have spent some time with me here, I really appreciate it. I always love doing the lives. I try not to have them go too long because I know that your time is valuable as I want to say thank you to Shannon as well. The Harvest Collection is September 1st, she says. Lois is happy about um, Arctic Kiss, and I think Desiree said she didn't get to warm, bright side of life, so it kind of faded away before I got to read that. But let's see if you guys have any other further questions before I sign off. I'll wait um, a little bit and see if you do. Hopefully everybody's doing okay and staying safe in your neck of the woods. <laughs> I don't know how I, I said that so many times, but that's what I say now. I can't stop saying it. Thank you. Have you ever smelled cranberry muffin? Yes, I think I had two or three bars of it. It was a little bit light when I warmed it, so. Um, the other thing is, I wanna mention that, uh, if, believe it or not, voting will be soon happening for the Bring Back My Bars to, to come in December. So when that is announced that voting is coming soon, I will make a short video of a few suggestions um, of ones that I've tried that I think would be worthwhile to vote back or ones that we've heard through the grapevine from a lot of people, like my friend Patrice really would love to see Crumb Top. Um, I think Raspberry Danish kind of has a little bit of a following going on. Uh, Lisa Roeberry is always hoping for, um, what's it called? Per uh, Perry Pumpkin, Berry Perry Pumpkin or something like that. So. Yeah, well, we'll have a little video to talk about that, but start thinking about what ones you're, you're going to want to vote back because that's going to probably come up very soon. So thank you, Sarah, and thank you, Trevor and Desiree, people that are kind of coming up in the comments. And of course, like I said, Shannon. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign off. My, I let my youngest stay up late so that he wouldn't interrupt us. So I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Please take care and stay safe. I got to figure out how to stop this thing, and I will see you in the next video.